In this video, I'm going to show you the best defensive abilities post-patch in Madden 23. These are the abilities I think everyone should be using on defense. Now, if you want to learn my entire, uh, all of my defensive ebooks, you can get all of those by joining the Patreon. We have over 20 offensive and defensive ebooks in the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to become a member, and it'll get you access to everything over there. So if you want to become a member, the link is in the description. But I wanted to just take a, a quick second and just talk a little bit about abilities because we are basically playing an ability-based game. And now that we have practice mode with Ultimate Team, I can kind of explain a little bit more about these abilities. Now, uh, what I'm going to do here is just talk you through my favorite abilities and then we're going to show you them on the field. So um, my favorite abilities right now in Madden 23 is Pick Artist. I think Pick Artist is one of the most important abilities. You want to have that on at least your, uh, in my opinion, you want to have that at least on five defensive players. Um, I actually personally, I think I have it on all of my cover players, which encompass eight players in my roster. There's a lot of zero AP pick artists. Whenever they make an ability zero AP, you at least want to try it out to see if it's effective. Pick artist is a really, really important ability this year because it's the one counter that we actually have. There's really two counters. One of the counters that we actually have uh, to be able to stop ag, catch, ag catches or at least make them pay when they're not able to make the ag catch. Now the second ability that I want to talk about and I actually think is more important than pick artists, especially with the way the current meta plays, is man KO abilities, specifically deep route KO and actually short route KO. I find short route KO to be actually a really uh, critical ability. So medium route KO, deep route KO, short route, short route KO. Whenever you see someone that has discounted short route or medium route or deep route KO ability, that player is worth considering on your roster. So uh, I'm going to show you why. So let's go ahead and jump on the field here and I'm going to show you a couple clips or just a couple reps here. So I have Rod Woodson. Rod Woodson has pick artist and deep route KO. And we're going to show you how he does against Cooper Cup. Okay, so we're just gonna show you how he does against Cooper Cup. And again, I'm just running a basic bunch trail corner. And what you'll see here is, he actually got kind of cooked there, but you'll notice that when he does get cooked, his KO, or even just his flat out, you know, ability, but his KO will basically save you. So, you know, you get in a situation like this here, actually, whoops, I apologize, I was in the zone. Uh, but this is what, what makes man coverage, I think, so powerful, is because even when you beat man coverage, if you have an ability like this, then you're able to kind of help yourself out a little bit. So again, there's a lot of variables this year with man coverage with the random bumping and stuff. But if you can get that bumping down, your man coverage is going to play super, super effective. Okay, so my best way that I've found to get the bumping to actually not be as bad is to not press um, and to back players off in critical moments. So for example, in this example here, I would want to back off maybe this outside guy, maybe I want to back off that solo guy, and then now I would want to, you know, maybe take a linebacker, man him up from the tight end, and then if I wanted to have, you know, this maybe a hard flat, do something like this. And now Kendall Fuller has short route knockout and um, and deep route knockout. So you see here again, here's a corner route, and you're going to notice that because he has the ability that time actually got kind of cooked, but you'll see that, that that KO ability will make it a little bit tighter of a throw. And again, if they're in any kind of tight window, that right there is going to help you a lot. So as long as you are able to get your guys, you know, again, into a position where they're able to actually just touch the player, um, you're going to be in a, a pretty good scenario. So here I'll show it to you again. Here's the the corner route, and you see there again, my corner is now able to be in a little better position to play it. Now the left side is also something I wanted to talk about, and that is the, um, on the left side here, I have uh, Revis, and he has medium route knockout and short route, short route knockout. So let's say, for example, that if we run a C route, you'll see here that the C route, even though he's gonna get beat, he has a chance to make a catch on the ball. He's also gonna drive on the ball a little better uh, these KO abilities also have the potential um, to kind of cancel out short in and short out elites, which is a big deal. So, uh, for example, here, Peterson, he has medium route knockout. Revis has short route knockout. So if I throw a wheel to uh, Dickerson here, 
you're going to notice that my man coverage is going to play. Now, I also had a hard flat there, but my man coverage from Revis is going to come down. He's going to knock that ball out. The other thing that you're going to notice is, again, um, if we can keep the offensive players, if we can keep them from lighting up through maybe an adjustment like this, for example, um, then you're going to notice some, some interesting things. So I'm going to throw the C route again. We're going to you know do some shading or whatever. But what you're going to see is because Pat is going to dive on the ball, he drives on the ball well, and he actually plays this a lot better than they would otherwise. So the point is this. KO abilities not only knock the ball up, they can actually improve your man coverage in some subtle ways. Another thing that's really important about the current defensive meta, man coverage is the best when man coverage is ran right. What do I mean by man coverage being ran right? I mean trying to prevent the bumping um, as much as possible. So through doing adjustments like this right here, we're now able to really try to force that ISO receiver to the outside and if we have a good player out there he can do stuff like that all day long and that's even with the player lighting up the same thing is true in like a tight or bunched offense where when you back these guys off they actually will play much much better so then you can kind of tweak your coverage underneath this however you want to for example playing something as simple as just a, a basic cover two this is a simple, simple defense, but you're going to notice we don't get a lot of bumping in this. There's not a lot of bumping that's going to take place. My KO guy or my, my slot is now able to play this better. So that's just a basic overview of what I, what I believe to be is the best defensive abilities in the game right now. Now, if you want to learn how I uh, pair these abilities with an actual scheme, make sure that you check out our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It's going to get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. The link is down in the description below. Thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you over at the Patreon.